I'd say I first felt like a real Chicagoan probably the first time someone stopped me and was like, hey, do you know how to get to Cornelia? And I was like, which is a road near my house, and it's very small. And I was like, yeah, dude, you go there. And he was like, thanks. And I was like, yeah, I live in Chicago now. I feel like everything is down in the loop, and then it's hard to go beyond that. Because I've like, walked the Magnificent Mile a lot, I've been to the Bean, I've been to art museums and stuff like that. But come on, there has to be some like secret things out there. It, it helps because now I can say, well, Sears Tower, that's a different place. We're going to Willis Tower now. But uh, after a while, I'm going to have to start coming up with different names, like Macy's Tower or Hudson's Tower. To find parts of the city that go beyond you know, what you see in photos or whatever, a travel guide, you've got to go out and explore on your own. Or really large tower. Um, I even thought of naming it Roberto Tower, so my friends thought that the city was honoring me by naming it. Probably like the first month I moved here, I was walking around Bucktown, and it was my goal to kind of get lost, and I succeeded. There's only so many times you can take something to the bean, you have to start calling it by different names, like the big mirror ball, or the arc of reflection. I've been here about a year, and I came here for work, and I know what a great city this must be because everyone loves it so much, and I love it just from getting to see the parts that I have, but I know that there's this whole other world out there with these amazing restaurants and these great sports teams, and I want to find out the best way to see all these things, and I just wish that I had a tour guide like I have been for people in the